I wasn't expecting company, but if you stay out of the shrubs and flower beds, you can stay. Give them a wave, Pops, now that you've invited them in. We're two old guys who enjoy playing sandbox and survival games together. I'm Uncle Craig. Go ahead and sit down. Let's visit for a while. Our goal here is to get started. And uh, we've got a pretty good start so far. Uh, the one thing that we ought to make sure we get into place before we call this complete, though, is uh, armor, full armor. So if you see, I've just got shoes and a helmet, and I don't think we picked uh, much if any iron recently so back over here where we were going to do the the tree farm and we decided to lower it down so let's do that here and i open i saw a zombie one zombie over there he's burning up probably not much else over there you get my fence posts here you get a way of doing things and it makes it easier if you just stick with that torch lord here we're just about to the point we could go wandering around but i still would like to get some more armor first we're not low on wood at the moment, I don't think. We have the center there this year. So this is the next area over here. Let's let's try to get these expanded out and leveled out, and then we'll uh, we'll do more after that. And then we'll then we'll plant the trees. Yeah, it's starting to snow again. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and lower this lower this area down. We'll uh, get that dirt that's over there later. And I gotta watch for things when it's this dark out. So I have to watch for mobs hanging out. All right, and um, I think the height of that is okay, but we're gonna lower this down one block, one more. Oops, still wanna keep my head on a swivel. Some gravel. Gravel, I don't know if I mentioned this before. I probably did. Gives you flint when you dig it. Dig it, man. And so I don't mind picking up gravel. It's also helpful, like you saw before, we can drop it down in an area, stack it up, and use it to get around to lower areas, lower mines and such. Uh, let's get rid of get rid of that tree because it is key. I think that's what's keeping those leaves there. Let's get rid of this tree. Just waiting for a creeper to sneak up on me. Oh, I hear the trader. All right, now he's pretty handy if you have emeralds, moss blocks, bucket of puffer fish. You get a lot of kind of interesting things from him early game. But we don't have anything, we don't have any emeralds right now, but what I'm gonna do is try to fence in. There we go, we got one lead. You see that lead on the ground? That means one of the llamas got away from him and I'd like to get the other one too. So which one is he still, he's still with that one. So we're gonna try to get him to where he's not moving and corner, hey, come trade with me. Yeah, now you'll stop moving for a minute, right? Ah. Can't quite get him. Uh, there, did I get him? Ah, uh, there we go. So I got him fenced in, and he will not be able to get out of that. In the meantime, I can grab this llama, bring him over here, and we'll set him up here on our main center post. Just right-click with the lead to put it on the llama, and then right-click a post to put the lead on a, um, a fence post. There's the other one now. Did I pick, uh, there's another lead here somewhere. Where is it? There it is, it's in with the llama. There we go. So now I'll put him on the lead and then I'll use my ax, get these fence posts. And so maybe a little underhanded, but now we have a llama, uh, two llamas. We can breed them to get others. From my experience, these usually are not the best and we'll take a look at why once we tame them. But I'm gonna save that for another time. Right now, I'm going to get all these fence posts back up here so I don't leave a mess. And I don't, I think that's all of them. Might be a couple more over there. And we're going to put the lead on right there. So they're both tied up. I really only need to tie one of them up, but I did both of them. The wandering trader will take off after a while and leave us, and he will leave us llamas there. So, and, and if I had emeralds, I would trade with him, really, because he, he's got some good stuff there. Now, uh, the other thing, we got sugar cane. I can't think of anything else we need water for necessarily, but I'm gonna keep these torches out here nonetheless. And that actually helps because it'll keep the mob count down. Uh, I could also, yeah, let's do it out here too. So we'll go one there, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. What we're doing is getting 
and this should come out right. One, two, three, four, five, six. This putting torches out here in this formation out here, spreading them out a little further, will help keep the mob spawning down in this area. So we will have to worry less and less about um, mobs spawning here. Now we know this section is off. That's right, we do need to fix that. So let me set this area up properly and then we will try to, well, probably take care of the Burger King the next day. Three, four, five, six, one, four, five, six. If you look under the water, under the ice there, there's a formation down there's probably sand. Two, three, four, five, six. And this way, one, two, three, four, five, six. See, we're off a row. We'll get that fixed here soon. These torches on. And now we've got a nine by nine grid. That's part of getting started to get a nine by nine, or three by three, sorry. Three by three grid of nine sections, all with torches. So it's very well lit here and uh, reduce the mob spawns and have places where we can add different different things, different resource production. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and bare hand this sugar cane, and I'm actually going to just take it out completely. Usually I would uh, try to keep it to just the, the knock out the middle one and grab two sections of it, but we're going to have to redo this area anyway from scratch. Not too much of a problem. Sugar cane's easy to work with. All right, we got all the sugar cane? Yes. Now let's put, where's my, oh, I'm, I'm out of fence posts. Let's make a bunch more fence posts. So let's get the fence posts up first, the, the correct ones. So it's gonna go here. I'm gonna take this one out. I'll leave the others for now. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, five, and six. All right, so let's get this down. Oh, space bar for swimming, swim up. And we know that we want the water, once we get this all done, we want the water to be under those center posts, this row here. Now it's sunset and it's almost night. Let's go ahead and make our way down in our hole here. And I should have gotten some wheat, but we had other things come up like the wandering trader, which was a good thing. Sticks, there we go. Let's get down there, see where we're at here. I'm out of food and I don't have coal in my current inventory. Not sure if there's some up there and I just forgot to grab it. I'd like to go down, but again, I'd like some food first. I'd like to be able to prepare well for that. Because if I do I do get in battle, I want to be able to heal up. And if I die, I don't want to be carrying a bunch of good stuff with me. So we'll get ourselves really well prepped before we get down there. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and clear this level here. We've got some sand here. Is that sand or snow? Uh, now I'm curious. Yeah, clay. Oh, it's clay. Wow. Hmm. Unexpected error. I have no idea what that is. But might have something to do with the essentials mod. I don't know. But uh, we weren't able to collect coins, apparently. We have clay now. Clay comes in handy for different things. And usually that's found near or in water. So my guess is we've got water right near here. A body of water. Which means we can't uh, take care of it by just putting a wa one water source in a bucket. I think I saw something drop back there. Yeah, so there's uh, gravel back there. Changed my shovel and we'll put a ceiling piece right here right away just in case something's up there. I doubt anything's there because we have already mined out that area I believe. Or no, we haven't. We've mined out uh, four hallways up there I guess. But it's always good to be careful nonetheless. And we'll fill the ceiling in right there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what that error message is coming across for. <laughs> it's really interesting. I don't think I've seen that before. If you do know, put, put a comment in. Let me know what that is. Okay, so we cleared that floor. And it is now sunrise. So I'm just going to head right back up. We really need another chest here. So let's just do it. 